Um, we got our last seven o'clock game. We got Kennesaw State, who's 0 2, trailing to San Jose State, who's 2 and 0. San Jose State favored by 19 points on True TV. Davis Bryson for Kennesaw State, the Owls, has gone 21 to 41, going for 295 yards, one touchdown, zero interceptions. Also leads the scrim on the ground, team on the ground, 27 carries for 50 yards. Tykeem Wallace has had four catches for 72 yards. Emmett Brown has gone 37 to 66 for the Spartans, throwing for 560 yards, five touchdowns, two interceptions. Floyd Chalk the fourth is at 33 carries for 130 yards and two touchdowns, and Nick Nash has had 17 catches for 260 yards and three touchdowns. These two teams have never played, by the way. Um, this is a big game for the Mountain West, right? If Kansas beats UNLV, which I'm recording this before that game started, by the way, so I don't know if that happened or not. Um, San Jose State could is the last undefeated left standing in the Mountain West. The Mountain West might be the last, the first conference I'm not talking about, right? They're the closest to elimination between all the group of five conferences. Um, them and Conference USA are kind of tied. Uh, they both have two undefeateds left, but the one difference is um, the undefeated there in Conference USA, one of those is Liberty, and Liberty plays and nobody in UTEP this week. And while San Jose State plays Kennesaw State, not a great football team, and they're struggling just like I, anyone who ex, anyone who's reasonable expectations. No one is like Jacksonville State and James Madison have been anomalies, right? That is not the norm. The norm transferring from FCS to FBS is Sam Houston and Kennesaw State now. That's normally what happens. It's hard. It's a hard transfer. Now, they played some good football teams tight, right? They played UTSA close. Um, they didn't just absolutely get rocked last weekend, but... Kennesaw State's not a great football team, as you can tell by their 0-2 record. San Jose State's playing some pretty good football, and I think it's going to be interesting when they get into the meat of their schedule. They have to play Boise eventually. They have to play UNLV eventually. Um, and those are the th true contenders. But if you move to 3-0, and suddenly going to be like, I'm, I see you for San Jose State. There's not a lot of undefeated group of fives at a certain point in the year, right? And I think you start to get excited when you see them continue to live. And when, you're, when you see them staying alive, undefeated wise. Uh, by the way, the Max also pretty close. They have, but Northern Illinois has a bye this week, so they will survive at the very least for this week. Um, they likely won't for very much longer. The only other team that's undefeated, there's only two other teams undefeated. Um, it's Toledo, who plays Mississippi State this week, and we'll get into that game a little bit later. And Ball State, who plays Miami this week, and we'll get into that. We got into that one earlier, and that one's, that one's probably going to go rough for Ball State. So Mountain West might be the team, first group of five team that I stopped talking about, um, but I don't think it starts here. San Jose State is too good of a football team to lose to Kennesaw State at home. Uh, the Spartans are rolling after a big win against Air Force. I think they continue to roll here. It can be Spartans to win and cover at home.